An ever-increasing volume of goods for transportation and handling, as well as rising security demands, above all on US shipment routes, are some of the challenges currently being faced by the container transport industry. Capacity is limited. Sooner or later, all container terminals hit the uppermost limits of their holding volume. The implementation of heightened security regulations runs counter to the time factor and the demands of health and safety. The sole solution lies in the optimization of existing processes. The optimization potential of a transport chain can be seen most clearly at the points of interface, where containers are received or delivered and where many processes are still being carried out manually. The key to optimizing logistical processes in container handling is automation. The key technology to enable this is RFID and the system is KINOS, Container Handling in Intermodal Nodes, Optimal and Secure. The project is funded by the EU Commission's Sixth Framework Programme. The KINOS project aims to examine RFID container technologies in terms of their practical application and to investigate what procedures are needed for the integration of this RFID data into the operational processes of the individual parties involved. What RFID brings to this project is the ability to automatically identify the container, identify the status of that container, whether it has been tampered with, whether it's locked or unlocked or not. And we can also check whether the container has been damaged. This is currently a big problem. In particular, on the water side, at the quay, it's barely possible to get a reading of the container number or the seal. The seal number is printed onto a very small part, and you have to get very close to be able to read it. This means that there are employees spending a relatively long time out there in the tracks of the crane and that I have to bring them very close to the machine. In terms of health and safety, we would rather keep employee and machine apart. So this is where RFID comes in. It enables me to read the seal from a distance. Radio Frequency Identification, or RFID for short, stands for the automatic compiling and storing of data using radio technology. A reading device sends out radio waves, thus activating a transponder. Without the need for direct visual contact, this transponder then sends data back to the reading device. The KINOS system uses RFID to obtain readouts of the container ID and the seal status. Employing stationary reading devices and handheld scanners, which have been especially developed in the project. Alongside improved safety for the workers at terminal interfaces, Kinos also produces a complete and uninterrupted picture of container information throughout the entire length of the transport chain. RFID brings a real improvement to the ways that you uh, can track containers throughout their route. The Kino system gives total transparency and visibility of the supplies throughout the chain. At the moment, I have to walk along the train and do my incoming or outgoing check manually. The error rates exhibited by our colleagues here are low, admittedly, but it's always going to be the case that I am more exact when I can document something automatically. If the technology allows us to establish a clean link between container and seal, even with containers which are standing door to door, then these incoming and outgoing checks could take place automatically. Kinos brings data security through automation of processes. On delivery of a container, a device reads the container ID number saved on the RFID chip fully automatically. This data is then forwarded to the relevant terminal system and may be made accessible via the Internet. 
All those involved in the logistics chain thus have access at all times to precise and reliable information. I think that will really make the difference. It is a totally reliable system because the data is acquired automatically and electronically. So now the, the data that is on your computer system is real reliable data. The train is shunted in here, but you're working with a limited number of material handlers and the handler can obviously only start working once the administrative processes have all been completed. Only when all the seals have been checked through can the containers be offloaded and made available to the client. We currently factor in one and a half to two hours for checking through an entire train. If I can do that electronically, we can obviously reduce that delay to zero. Just as with the container ID, the number of the electronic seal is also registered fully automatically by the Kinos system at the terminal interface. In the process, Kinos checks whether the e-seal is still intact or whether it has sustained any damage during transportation. Automation of the otherwise cumbersome seal check, thanks to RFID, leads to a considerable acceleration of both incoming and outgoing checks. A saving in time spent at the interface enables a more efficient use of terminal capacity and thus an increase in handling volume. Naturally, I have to factor in processing time at the terminal when I calculate my transit time and the client obviously looks very closely to see what my price is and what my transit time is. We anticipate the Kinos system will give us a time saving simply because as soon as we have the train in here, we'll have all the information available to us on the computer and can start offloading the containers immediately. Damage recognition brings real added value for the terminal because I can't be cleared of responsibility for damages found in the outgoing check, which I haven't recorded in the incoming check, simply because I haven't recorded them. You see, we currently carry out damage recognition by hand. It's a very time-consuming process and, of course, it can happen that something gets overlooked. In addition to identifying the container and checking the seal, each transport operator has to inspect the container for defects. An important aspect of the Kinos system is, therefore, the use of RFID in combination with automated damage documentation. The container is photographed and the images are saved in a database. Kinos documents any damage and offers support in the case of potential liability claims. Once I've got everything recorded on a photograph, if the client puts in a claim at a later point, I'm in a position to say that the damage was already present before the container was handed over to me. Why do we expand the RFID signal by marrying it to other sensors? Further application of RFID technology in the container transport chain becomes possible. For example, we want to record and follow the status of the container load itself. The humidity, the temperature, the degree of ripeness of a cargo of bananas, say. Or add further sensor technology to help monitor the security status of the container from door opening sensors up to NBC weapon detectors which can be built into the container. What we bring together in Kinos is a group of research organizations with people like ourselves who provide technical solutions to the industry, with actually the end users. Now, that means that the system we're developing here has been fully endorsed 
by the users that have current problems and see Kinos as a way of resolving those problems.